Hey friend, are you looking to launch your first website and you want to know how to get your domain name pointed over to your hosting? Well, hey, in this exciting episode today, that's exactly what I'm going to share with you, okay? How to transfer your domain name, and in this case, it's going to be with GoDaddy as a registrar, over to any hosting you want. But in this case, we're going to use SiteGround, okay? So it's a very simple step-by-step -step process. I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? I'll walk you through it. Don't worry. It's very fast and very easy. It's not as techy as, you see, as it may seem, okay? I'll do that for you. But I'm also going to share with you something else as well. In addition to that, I'm going to show you a few security uh, security things that you might want to consider that I've done that are two things that are really, really important. But in addition to that, I'm going to share with you exactly what you need to do so that you don't make the mistake I made, which is I lost over 500 leads. Yes, over 500 leads and hundreds of leads, hundreds of dollars in sales when I made my transfer from GoDaddy to SiteGround because I made this one mistake. And basically, I'm going to show you how to keep your custom sub sub domains intact okay especially if you use them for sales funnels which is what i did okay so don't worry i'm gonna show you exactly how to do that step by step within this tutorial and we're gonna get started with that right now but before we do hey if you're new to this channel my name is chris and this channel is all about empowering you home business entrepreneurs with the mindset and skill sets to get results make money drive breakthroughs all right so if you like tutorials like this then definitely give the video a like consider subscribing to the channel all right and go ahead and smash that bell too because you'll be notified whenever i drop new vids which is pretty much on the regular okay before we get into the tutorial i'll show you step by step how to do it okay i'm gonna get use a, uh, a like a, a sample domain and i'm gonna walk you through the whole thing transferring your domain pointing your domain whatever they call it okay your domain over to your new hosting okay and like i said i'm we're gonna be using godaddy as the example and we're gonna be transferring over to siteground okay siteground is what i've been using i really like it a lot um they're very fast very simple and the user, user interface is really really good in fact they're the ones that helped me their customer support is really good they're the ones that helped me figure out this entire mess right after I made the mistake. So hey, if you want to check them out and use them for your hosting, I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay. It is an affiliate link, but like I said, I think you'll get a lot of value and it's very affordable as well, especially for beginners. Okay. But before we do, I need to explain to you the kind of the situation, of what happened here. Okay. So let's break down. Let's break it down. Here's the deal. Number one, a domain is basically, you know, you get that from a registrar. So you, like we say, you can get that from GoDaddy. You can get that from Namecheap, whoever you want to get them from. Okay. That's going to be the name of your website. Then you need hosting for where that website is going to be held right so hosting can be people like SiteGround it can be Kinsta those are the two best hostings that I know of and the way it works is that you need a domain which is kind of like the address to your website and then you need hosting which is kind of the street right so the address points to the street where your 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 website is going to be and then WordPress is kind of like the house right that that you build on that street that most websites are built on on the internet and then your content is basically the furniture and how nice your house is okay so that's kind of how I learned it so hopefully that helps you put things in perspective so you have a you have a domain you have hosting that's going to hold, hold be where you're pointing your address to your to your to your host right now there's things that are called subdomains that you may not have heard of okay but they're very simple subdomains are basically little words that go in front of the website name so for example if it was at www.amazon.com if they did go.amazon.com well that's basically a subdomain okay so you can use subdomains for like you know hosting sales funnels which is what i do or you can do like specific sections of your website like if you had blog.amazon.com or whatever dot, dot your name dot com whatever all right and the way that you do that is by creating what's called a c name record for that subdomain inside the dns section of your domain don't worry we'll get to it i'll show you what that looks like but the funny thing about that is that it does not transfer over when you do the transfer from your, your domain over to your hosting those c name records do not transfer therefore those subdomains would not be active and that's exactly what happened to my sales funnels they were inactive the entire time for over 10 days didn't know that lost over 500 leads tons of sales it really sucked okay so i'm going to show you exactly how to do the transfer and then how to make sure you don't miss out on your subdomains so that you all those things get transferred out okay so what we're going to do is going to come to siteground okay so i'm just going to show you how to transfer a domain real quick okay if you come to sub uh, to siteground basically what you'll do is you come here up here to where it says websites okay you click on that and then it's going to bring up your websites now uh you'll have some websites here i already have a few here now what you're going to do is you're going to come here to where it says new website to add a new one okay now pardon the interruption my friend but hey are you enjoying this video so far getting value then hey go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel all right 
And go ahead and tell me where you coming from, all right? Where you where in the world are you from? Where you're trying to learn how to make this money, all right? So if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Next up is like, okay, new domain, existing domain, temporary domain. We're gonna go to existing domain because we're gonna assume that you've already bought it from your registrar, like GoDaddy. And we're gonna type in the name of the domain. But in order to get that name, we're gonna go to GoDaddy, okay? So you're gonna go Daddy, and then you're gonna sign in. All right, and once you sign in, you're gonna go to whichever domains that you have, okay? And so you can click on that particular domain, and that will take you into a little bit, give you more information about that domain. Then you can scroll down all the way down to the section where it says manage DNS, and then it's gonna bring you up information about the DNS management. Now, I want you to pay attention, right? So what's, like I remember we said that you can actually create subdomains, right? In this case, I created a subdomain using the C name record right here. Here, that name is promo. That's what I use, and I'm using my using it as a as a custom domain for my sales funnel with ClickFunnels. And if you just go to ClickFunnels, they'll show you that this is basically how you do it, and this is where I pointed it to. But you'll see when we do the website that hey, this will not transfer over, and that you have to re-add that. Okay, but don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. So first thing is we're gonna take this name, we're gonna take this name of this website, we're gonna copy that, come back over to SiteGround, and we're gonna paste that here. Okay, and then say click continue then it's gonna say yeah you know make sure that it's not you actually own this website you're gonna say yes you do and then you're gonna click continue then you can come here where it says start a new website all right and then it's gonna say install a new application you click select there and then you can click choose different applications we're just gonna click just go with uh, WordPress because that t tends to be the one and then it's gonna ask you about your installation details so you can add in any of the uh, the website access credentials you want so you can put an email address and a password here and this is what you're gonna use to be able to get access to your website and then you click continue and then you're just gonna click finish right here skip that so now right now it's creating creating the website all right and space so basically what it do it, what it's doing is creating the WordPress and then afterwards we're going to do the other the quick things to actually point the, the service from the domain over to this new site all right then it says you're all set okay so your domain has now website for this domain has now been created so now we need to make sure that we point the domain from uh, where it is right now with GoDaddy over to the servers for SiteGround so that the address matches up so all you do is just copy this right here and go back to GoDaddy and then where we were under DNS management we'll just scroll down and then here you go you can see the name service so all we're gonna do is click change here and then it's gonna bring up this window here you're gonna say yes I want to do this so enter my own name service click on that and then it's gonna say name server one and so all you're gonna do is just click on uh, post that and then you need name server two. go back here We'll click on this, double click that, copy that, come back over here and paste that into the service. And then we'll just save. And then that should now point your domains. It says, uh, okay, name server update, inspirekids.run. It's risky. Yes, I consent to this. Press continue. So now that should point the domain of that we just that we just have over to the site that was just created over at SiteGround. So now it has an address and everything. So we're gonna come back to SiteGround here, and then you can you can just click on Manage Site here, or you can go back up here to where it says Websites, right? So now you can see that we have this new website here, and then you can either you can click on Site Tools. So that'll bring you back into the dashboard with with SiteGround, and then what you want to do. Then what we're gonna do next is gonna do two things that I think is really important. Number one. We're gonna to go to security click on that then you're gonna come down to here which is SSL manager because we want to set up like the whole padlock thing so that we secure the site so that's really really easy with SiteGround that's what I kind of like about it so you just come here and all you do is just click the domain you want and then click click um, please select an SSL you're just gonna hit the first one that says let's encrypt and then hit get all right and it took a few moments but that's in but it, it happens so there you go it says let's encrypt is installed and so um, every so you should be good to go all right, and once you've done that, then you can actually get get into WordPress to do the next thing that we're gonna do. Now, if you didn't uh, download WordPress before, you can actually go back over here to the side and install and manage, and you'd be able to select WordPress and install it there um, if you hadn't already done it. But since we already did, we can just go back to our main account, then go back to websites up here, and then where you have the website here, you can actually just click, click this little button here, and that will take you to the actual website. So this is what the website looks like right now, so it's not much, but what you can do to get into your admin just come up top here where it says that it has your URL you're gonna do slash WP uh, admin 
And once you do that, that'll actually take you to the administ- admin section of your of the of your website. And you're gonna type in the username and the password that you use to create the WordPress site mm-hmm. in the first place. When you do that, it's gonna pre- take you to this little starter area. I'm just gonna exit that for now. So now you're inside your WordPress dashboard of your app, a- actual WordPress site. What we're gonna do is just come down here where it says SG Optimizer, and then go over here where it says click on Environment Optimization, and then you're gonna says where it says Enable HTTPS. Then you're gonna just click on that. All right. So this allows you to forces HTTP on your site and so um, making sure that your site stays pretty much uh, secure. And then you're just gonna go ahead and confirm it. So now your website has an SSL certificate and it has HTTPS um, sort of um, secure uh, certification on there so that your site is always secure when people come on there. And the last thing that I would recommend you do is that you also come over to this section where you can download your plugins. I know, yeah, it'll make you have to re-log back in, okay? So then just go ahead and re-log in now that you have activated activated the HTTPS and you want to add in a plugin that I call, you can just come up here uh, to search Search for your plugins or click right here where it says add new one and then I would recommend you add this plugin that's called word fence okay word fence basically is like the best security plugin ever okay so I would just come here and install this plugin this is great this will add two-factor authentication to your website uh, vi- uh, virus protection malware attacks all kinds of stuff to your to your website I highly recommend it and then just click activate it for it to get to going and I don't recommend you buy it either the free version is like just plenty enough for everything you need now let's go back to the website here and go back to the site tools because i wanted to show you exactly what we talked about right we've done everything except remember we talked about with godaddy and about the c name record with the subdomain now remember we had i can't we can't see it on godaddy anymore but remember we had it as promo dot whatever our website name was right inspiredkids.com so what i want to do is come over here to see if it actually transferred over and the way you'll know that is by clicking on where it says domain here and then go down to where it says DNS zone editor and then that'll give you the information for this particular the DNS records for this particular uh, domain right and as you can see if you scroll down and take a look here you can see that guess what that C name record did not get transferred over right so if you had other sales funnels and things connected to it well you'd be screwed right now if you didn't notice it so don't worry we're gonna just add it on right now so all we're gonna do is just add a C name record by clicking here C name and then we're gonna say the name we used Pro last time and then we're going to use resolve it to the same place that we had it for click funnels for example that's what we're using so I just had an art there was just an article where you can find it and then whatever sales for whatever funnel record you're using you can use the same thing but uh, I know that click funnels has it has it here set up where you can just take it and they show you step by step how to do it just come back over to SiteGround, put it in there to resolve to and then just say create and done just like that you're good to go and you can see it right here c name record for our website that we wanted for our subdomain is here targeting to click funnels or whatever sales funnels you're using and remember too the one thing to remember about this is that it actually takes time for that to propagate so it may not happen in the first 10 minutes 20 minutes i think for when i did it, it took me about an hour so just keep that in mind and also alternatively if you don't want to have to go through this this uh the trouble of having to remember to put this c name record for this subdomain you can just create an entirely separate note domain for all your sales funnels all together right and just create a separate one that you use just strictly for your sales funnels so you never have to worry about that in the first place so that's it my friend hope that was helpful hope that walkthrough was step-by-step helped you if you have questions about it then hey you know feel free to leave it in the comments below I'll try to answer them as best as I can all right I'm not super techy techy but I'll do my best and this is kind of the stuff that I figured out over time like I said it's not hard just take your time put it together if you're this far man I'm, I'm proud of you for taking action because most people are scared to do this kind of thing but hey you're figuring it out so you're going to get there all right so like i said check out SiteGround. they're really good for hosting all right there's a link in the description below and like i said if you got value then definitely share this with someone else who's looking to make money online trying to get their website together so until the next exciting episode my friend you be glad stay hungry i'll see you on the next one peace out